building value, building value. I am courageous, I am courageous. Infinite possibility, infinite possibility. Dreaming big, dreaming big, Breaking barriers, breaking barriers, breaking barriers, breaking barriers, come on, breaking barriers, breaking barriers, breaking barriers. Whoa, thanks for joining me, I really needed a break. You're probably wondering what I'm doing. Well, I'm putting in my energy time. Energy time means time that I spend on generating energy for my body and my mind and my spirit. And I, I've created this really cool workout poster that you can take anywhere because the world is your gym. It requires absolutely no equipment, just a little commitment. Let me show you how it works. Check this out. Right here, this is called the energy time workout grid. Okay, it's a matrix. And all you got to do is decide how much time you're willing to invest right now. 10, 20, 30, 45, or 60 minutes. And what's your energy temperature right now? Are you feeling like you're totally, totally relaxed and, and you're tired and you're stressed out? That would be more like a 20 degrees. If you're bouncing off the walls and you have like intense emotions and you're ready to like charge forward, that would be 100 degrees. So anywhere in between, you would pick out what's your current energy temperature right now. Let's just say, for instance, you're feeling kind of mediocre. I'm like, ah, I could take it or leave it. That's about a 60 degrees. And you only have about 20 minutes to do a workout. So you just, just like a multiplication table, you go to this square, and I've designed a workout interval specifically for that energy and time commitment. So you look at this square, and you see the first line says three minutes, and that's the time you're going to commit, and then it says level one. So now you want to look at the other side of the poster, flip it over, and you're going to see that level one is at the top. This is the spiritual level. These are the exercises that are very simple and easy, body flow, kind of yoga stretches. Level two is the relational level, and it's more body flow type exercises, a little bit more fast paced than the yoga level. Level three is slightly in increased intensity, it's the financial level. Level four, this is where you start to get into more intensity, um, more body resistance, this is the physical level. And level five is the mental level. This is really going to push your comfort zone, so you're going to be high plyometrics and really pushing it. Okay. So now what you look at your square, what I like to do is write it down on a little piece of paper so that I don't have to uh, flip over the poster, or you can just buy two posters. That might be a better idea. <laughs> so you're going to see three minutes at level one, okay? All you have to do is do level one exercises. There's five to choose from, and do that for three minutes. You can do 30 or 60 second intervals, up to you. You can do 15 second intervals. I like to have a little stopwatch, or I just kind of gauge it by my mind. I just say, ah, oh, that feels about 30. 30 seconds. Do whatever you like. Five different exercises for 30 for three minutes, okay? Three minutes at level one. Then you go to the next thing you look at is the dominant. This is the one in bold. You're going to spend 13 minutes in levels three and level four, okay? That's these two levels here on the back of your poster. Financial and physical. These are more intense, and because you have a higher energy when you started, you're going to get to the higher levels more quickly. Spend 13 minutes in those levels. You have five exercises in each level to choose from. You can kind of go back and forth, or you can do all of one level, then go all to the next level. It's up to you. You can gauge, okay? Always remember, level three is less intense than level four for 13 minutes. Then you're going to go, at one point in your workout, there's going to be a time when you're like, you know what, I can really push it further. So that's called a growth interval. It's any time you feel like you're ready to push through your comfort zone, you go up into a little higher level. So I've written here, one minute at level five. Level five is the highest level that you can go to. So at least for one minute or for two 30 second intervals, you're going to go to level five. All right, after that level, that's a high intensity exercise, you're probably going to need recovery. So I've designed a rest interval, okay, that's the second line, it says one minute of rest interval at level two. So you are going to go to level two to rest and recover from that really high intensity level that you did called your growth interval. Does that make sense? So you start with warm up, then you go to your dominant level, then you do a growth interval whenever you're ready to kick it in gear, and you go back to rest interval to recover from that growth. And then you finish up with a cool down, okay? The last segment on your square designates a uh, certain time to spend in a cool down. Right here, you got two minutes at level one. So at the end of everything, you're going to go to level one and cool it down. That's how you do it. So let's get started. <laughs> 